We're at Wallops Island, that's actually in Virginia, about a four hour drive from Chantilly. Cygnus is a cargo resupply mission that Orbital is performing for NASA. Our primary customer is to support NASA, but we're happy to say uh, we have a mission coming up with the National Reconnaissance Office. That satellite deployer is full of satellites, some of which are sponsored by the NRO. Those will be put out into low Earth orbit. We're in fiscally constrained times. We need to find more innovative solutions. This is one of the ways that we're able to do that. We've actually partnered with Orbital ATK, who owns the launch vehicle, and we are working as the integrator um, on behalf of the NRO to get these missions realized. Cygnus is a resupply vehicle which goes to the ISS. It's full of cargo, no humans, just cargo, that can range anywhere from small satellites to research experiments to underwear for the crew. Here in the back, we have a satellite deployer which is attached to the side of the Cygnus vehicle here. That deployer got affixed to the side of the spacecraft and that's uh, going to deploy your satellites after our mission to space station. We've done several cargo resupplies uh, up till now. This is uh, 08. This is where we're going to find out if it's bolted to the spacecraft successfully or not. That thing weighs about 250 pounds total. That thing is going to stay there through launch, through operations, through everything. I think we're going to be all right. We were able to see all of the payloads which were in that deployment box physically get added to the Cygnus, which is that vehicle that's going to be docked on the ISS. And from there, the NRO payloads are going to be deployed. I'm excited. I've seen launches before. I've never seen one out of Wallace Island. Launch day is always the, the most exciting day. We spend a lot of time in a lot of meetings and doing the planning and budgeting and staffing of projects. There's a lot of work for a very short, exciting period of time known as launch day. It's pretty exciting to be here for a launch and to watch it go up. We all run outside and, and watch it go up. Five, four, three, two, one. Liftoff confirmed, Antares and the SS Gene Cernan now bound for the International Space Station. My exhale moment doesn't come until the very end. First we have to get through the launch, and then we have to get through the birthing, and then we have to get through the unbirthing, and then it has to travel up to a higher orbit, and then I will have my exhale moment when I get the final video showing the things go outside.